Our Super Bowl Sunday forecast is looking interesting to say the least, but still we are going to keep the LEX 18 winter threat index at a one as really all the different types of precipitation that we're going to be tracking over the next 12 to 24 hours really are not going to amount to much. So starting off tonight, I'm tracking snow showers to arrive in fact over the next couple of hours and we could be seeing a light accumulation by morning. This is going to be one of those heavy wet snows just like we saw on Thursday. So for the most part, it's going to be sticking to the grass and even some elevated surfaces, but then we're going to melt all that snow away with with rain throughout the morning hours tomorrow, but then we're switching right back over to snow into Sunday evening. But at least right now, the only thing I'm tracking on the Max Track Live Doppler is Virga, meaning it's snowing higher up in the sky, but it's evaporating before it's reaching the surface. We're seeing that right now just to the east of Cincinnati, just on the other side of the Ohio River, and more action back towards E Town and even continuing on near Bowling Green. The main swath of moisture is still back across western Tennessee, and that's all linked up to a warm front that has stretched down across the deep south. It's attached to one of the two systems that we're going to be tracking over the next day or so. The second one, a little bit delayed, and it's going to be still hanging up, uh, still back across the Midwest as we go through the overnight hours and even most of the day tomorrow, too. So as we continue into the wee hours of the morning, we're beginning to see that moisture lifting northward, so areas to the southwest. Begin to see a little bit of a rain-snow mix before going over exclusively to snow over the next couple of hours, then starting to drift into the bluegrass towards 2, 3 a.m. Continuing on then towards the north and east, we'll see a few hours of light to moderate snow. Then by wake up tomorrow, temperatures should be mild enough across southern Kentucky. You're going to be switching over to rain. Meanwhile, in the bluegrass, still could be seeing some snow, could begin to see some pockets of a rain-snow mix as well. And then continuing on into mid-morning, we will all see that switch over to rain. That's going to last through about lunchtime. Then our future track is showing the potential for a little bit of a lull in the action. It's going to stay chilly tomorrow with high temperatures in the upper 30s. The clouds also locked in. That then is going to be followed by an Arctic front that's going to be bringing in colder air in time for the evening. In fact, by kickoff of the Super Bowl right here on LEX 18 tomorrow, we could begin to see more scattered snow showers and flurries starting to fly. The good news is with that Arctic front, moisture is going to be limited. So we're not going to be seeing much accumulation, if any at all, as we look towards the overnight hours looking ahead to Monday, although it is going to be getting a whole lot colder. So the best opportunity to pick up some light accumulations is going to come tonight into tomorrow morning. And this is going to be a couple of hours of snow. So for the most part across southern Kentucky, a trace. You may get a coating. Meanwhile, for the bluegrass, less than an inch, a little bit more across northern Kentucky. Again, where we'll be seeing the snow lasting through the mid stages of the morning. But still, that snow is going to be gone by tomorrow evening. As again, we'll be seeing those periods of rain during the mid parts of your Sunday. Whew, that's a big story. So again, starting tonight, we're tracking snow showers to arrive after midnight. Light accumulations will be possible as temperatures drop back into the low 30s. We'll only climb into the upper 30s tomorrow. We'll see that quick change to rain in the morning before we end this snow into the evening hours, but the snow will wind down before the Monday morning commute. It does get colder early next week, a high of only 30 degrees on Monday before a parade of storm systems move in next week. We'll see the potential for rain on Tuesday before we switch over to a rain snow mix on Wednesday. We stay cold through the end of the week, but high temperatures will be near 40 degrees even into next weekend. We'll have more LEX 18 news after this.